No, I agree. You said exactly what I've seen. The same thing. First seven, eight minutes was real good. We played, you know, good solid game. Six shots to two or something like that when I looked up. And then, uh, you know, they got a couple goals that, you know, the power play goal, screen, deflection in front. And then, uh, again, we just didn't react good to it. And, you know, we get, we get dominated the next probably 10, 12 minutes for sure. The, the speed they played, the pace they played, you talked about all that mm -hmm. the pressure they put on you. How did you feel like you guys handled it? Not it, good. It, yeah. So, so Not what do you good. from that that you need to do better or learn from it? Well, we learned from it. We got uh, we started rimming some pucks, and we won some battles on the boards and chipped some pucks by them. And you know, but uh, we talked about their pressure. They put pressure on you, and if you're going to try and make the cute little plays, your D to D partner, when there's guys right on you, it's not going to work. So sometimes you got to win those one on one battles high in the boards and get it over the blue line. That's that's you know you can't be satisfied with making the, the clean pass every time against them. That's the way they play. Was was their play below the hash marks in both zones? Kind of the. The dev, I agree, hundred percent. Yeah, no, they they looked like strong men. They took some pucks to the net against us. Uh, our coverage wasn't good in the D zone. Then again, they the you know, not taking nothing away from that team. They we made some bad mistakes, but you know they forced you into the bad mistakes. What prompted you to make the switch with uh, Kako and Reeves? I just wanted to get a big body up there. Nothing Kako did, you know what I mean? It was, I wouldn't pick on one player tonight. There was a lot of them, but uh, I just wanted to get a big body up there for a while. A really good team we're playing against. Um, I didn't feel like we uh, got up to the level of uh, um, to the level we needed to, um, and um, you know, it's we've had games where we don't play. You know, we talk about a full sixty where we haven't done that, and. Um, Maybe the best team we played against, really. Uh, take advantage of the, the, the stuff we uh, did wrong and our mistakes. and um, It's a good learning lesson for us. Um, uh, and and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll move on. You generated very little for the first 35 minutes. Was it their forecheck? Was, was, there, was there something else going on that, that kind of stopped you in your tracks? Getting out of your zone, getting through the I think it was a bit of a feeling out process. I mean, we didn't generate much, but they didn't generate much either until it seemed to hit a point where we were just uh, running around a little bit too much in our D zone and not really, not really committing to our assignments. Um, and that's how they want to play. They want to wear on you and wear on you. And I mean, it's not too dissimilar from the way we want to play. We want to roll four lines, uh, want to create with their four check over and over and coming in waves. Um, but at the end of the day, I think that their forecheck was effective against us early. Um, I mean, we talked about it before the game. Any success we we're going to have was was breaking out the puck, puck clean, moving the puck, being decisive, um, and committing to those those board battles, skating, getting in those board battles to advance pucks. Uh, I think that's when we had some element of success early on in the third. Obviously, they probably, you know, um, they probably weren't coming as hard as they were early on in the game. I just went five, but at the same time. Um, those are the little things that we need to do over the course of 60 minutes if we want to be a successful team. And that, that team does those things. At the other end, it seemed like they, they had pretty pretty good control around the front of the net. Do you think they were breakdowns or were they just doing something a little bit different? Were they just quicker on the puck than you? Were they responding to battles? Or, or what do you think that was? Well, I think it's it's a it's a five-man effort there. Um, and that's a team that, like I just said, they commit to to what they're doing they do it quickly and they're you know they're they're predictable for one another so they're they're going high to low and they know they're getting pucks to the net and they do that over and over um and as wingers we need to do a better job of getting out getting in the lane not just blocking shots but discouraging shots that's something we talked about between the second and the third um especially when we know that's what's, what's coming um get out there discourage those shots and that's going to make it easier on our d and obviously being able to to break the puck out not getting hemmed in helps too so um I mean, it's something we have to go back and look at, and that's kind of their bread and butter, and that's how they generate offense. But I think I think we all could have done a better job in our own zone, of, uh, you know, from the wingers to to the back end of just not allowing them to generate offense that way.